What's up guys, Wes here. Um, I am out at Pascagoula Point uh, around the Rock Eddy, kind of early in the morning. It is mid-December-ish. Uh, had a day off, figured I was gonna try to do a little fishing while everybody's at work. That will be crowded. Um, and give it a shot. All artificial today, no live bait. Uh, I'm still gonna try to use the popping corn. We'll try a few techniques. fishing that I love is the peace and quiet or just the solitude sometimes. I'm not catching much. I got one, I caught a white trout that was pretty large and they're good. So I can't fit. Um, sorry I didn't get it on video. It's just been slow. I've been all over the place. <sighs> You know, it's a good day even when you're not catching anything. Oh. I think the biggest misconception to most people about fishing is just that. It's boring if you're not catching. But I just don't think you'll ever be any good at it. If, um, you don't have some patience. That's a drawbridge. I started out with artificial and nothing was happening. So now I went by a uh, a marina bought some bait and that helped 
that picked things up a little bit. Um, but it's still just slow. It's supposed to have been a good day. Uh, the weekend's supposed to be a lot better. I may try to go again. This is today is Wednesday, middle of the week. I'm kind of just trolling upstream a little. But, um, yeah, just chilling, just relaxing. trying to fish artificial and uh, just wasn't doing any good so I went to a local uh, marina close to where I was at I say local local to where I am and um, picked up some uh, bull minnows which nothing hit the bull minnows uh, mostly redfish hit those and uh, some shrimp and uh, I caught I started catching some white trout uh, no big no monster anything, no speckled trout at all, no redfish. I caught um, one, uh, like a 14 and a half, 15 inch uh, white trout, which is pretty good size um, compared to some of the sizes that we catch normally, lately anyway. Uh, anyway, so I guess that brings me to this point is don't put too much pressure on yourself. If you're learning, especially if you're watching this, trying to learn to fish, God, don't watch me to learn, but uh, watch my mistakes. But, um, I was using a, like a, a drop, I uh, say, what do you call that? Not a drop shot, that's bad. Uh, I wish I took a picture of it. Basically, where you got your hook and a leader and then the, the weight. I don't even know what size weights I had, like two ounce, one ounce, if they had half ounce, I can't remember. They're small, um, but I just used that, but the current was flowing so hard, I couldn't even get that on the bottom. I didn't have anything else. I didn't come prepared to fish like that. That's just something I happened to have on the boat with me. So here's that point. Um, bring everything you got. <laughs> Be prepared. Uh, be prepared to fish any way that you need to uh, and don't put too much pressure on yourself just learn just take it baby steps uh, just step by step and um, don't don't get discouraged uh, enjoy the scenery enjoy the company if you got people with you enjoy the peace if you don't um, just enjoy where you are and what you're doing I uh, I would love to go hunting and get more in, in the outdoors that way. It's just a lot of trouble for a very little benefit. Um, but if I did go, the main reason I would go was to be in, just be out in the outdoors, just to be out in peaceful, a little bit of tranquility. So um, I don't know. Hope that helps. Tight lines, guys. Later.